Now we have an insightful and mellifluous session by Vikku Vinayakram and TM Krishna on the topic Crossing the Boundaries of Classical Music. Please give, me, give them a huge round of applause. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, we also have on stage uh, Vikku sir's grandson Swaminathan. So let's introduce him to you. So uh, today's conversation will be kind of two parts in some manner. Uh, one is I'm going to ask him questions about his life, his experiences. Okay. And uh, some part I will also share my own thoughts on the subject matter that we have chosen. So, and it will be bilingual because he'll speak in Tamil. Do you need a translation? Oh my God. Okay. I will try giving you, shall we say, a translation. It'll be brief. Uh, otherwise, we'll take a lot of time in that. Um, so, I'm going to first... So, first, you must understand there is a gap of three and a half decades between us. Close to three and a half. Not exactly. Okay? Um, so, to give you a context of his time as he came up in the field of Carnatic music and mine. Let me set that context first. Mama, you first to Kacheri, what was your first time? 1955. So I want to describe what, say, the world of Carnatic music was in 1955. So you get a context. So at the turn of the century is when Carnatic music where slowly Chennai or Madras then starts becoming the epicenter of this art form. An epicenter uh, throughout South India. It's not just a Tamil Nadu happening. So Madras becomes the, the urban city where Carnatic musicians from various villages, even from Kerala, from Tamil speaking, there was no Kerala then, but anyway, Malayalam speaking regions, Tamil speaking regions are going towards because that's the place where business houses are moved. That's the place where a formalization of this art form has happened. So by the time uh, Vikumama comes into the scene, 55, this is very well established. You have something called the Madras Music Academy. That's become a premier organization. You have great Murdangam artists, great violinists. So there is this, the professionalism of Carnatic music is established by then. You must also remember that Carnatic music comes with its own baggage of hierarchies. Everything you see on stage is not happy. <laughs> There's a lot happening on stage that we don't see. Now, how, do, how is the hierarchy list? Let's look at that. If you had a vocal concert, at the top of the hierarchy is the singer. Obviously made out from the position that the singer holds right in the center. On the right of the singer, in a V angle, is the Murdangam artist. So I am basically the president of the show at that point. <laughs> and I'm controlling everything that is going to whatever extent possible. But there are also internal battles happening over there. So there's a violinist on this side. So do you know at one point of time, the violinist was paid less than the Murdangam artist. And the logic for that was that the Murdangam required more maintenance than the violin. So technically, even if they were equal on the stage, or they were both my colleagues who I had control over, there was also a kind of a little battle going on over there on who's more important. And then comes what unfortunately became the term called Upa Pakka Vadyam. Pakka Vadyam is an accompanying artist. Now the Ghatam Ganjira Mohar Singh became an assistant ship to the Pakavadya. <laughs> right? You must re also remember that the Ghatam is a relatively new instrument to the Carnatic world. It emerged only in the late 19th century. People like Krishnayar are the ones who are the pioneers of it, who brought the Ghatam. And in many ways, Vikku is the person who actually gave it a voice that it had not had before. I'm not saying there were no great artists before him. He'll get upset, so I'm saying that. But he gave the Gatham a different presence. Now, you imagine this young man in 1955 sitting behind the Murdangam here, trying to make his presence felt. This is the context from which Vikku Vinayakram emerges. 
we have to understand this because we don't see these inner workings of the stage or the inner politics that happen in any kind of musical happening. I come, I'm born in 1976, right? <laughs> Much later, 19 years after he performed for the first time on stage. So my context of the Carnatic music world is different. Okay, my generation was different. My generation, if you want to place it, we were the 70s, 80s generation. We were in the, in fact, the first generation, young generation that stormed the bastions of the old. Till the 90s, everybody thought this music should be only sung by old people. Till the 80s. So we are a group of 10, 15 people, many of them are superstars today, who actually pushed and said, no, we young people are good. So our battle was different. That is a different battle we are fighting, right? His battle was different. Now I'm going to go to him and ask him. Ninga Modal Kacheri, 1955. Yaru Kacheri. Adevande, Chuchu Kudila, Mother Krishna Yangar, our Mother Krishna Yangar, Murdagam. Vivi Shadagovan. Part Part he was 13 years old. Apo Madal Kacheri Arndanala, upon the Kacher, Chutukudilla, Chippi, or the Kurzinga Wundu. In the Chirpi, Chirpi, ah. Adalavandi, Pala Chirpi, Tony, Ada, Unula, Mutukadigam. Hm. Under the Lena, Chinnape, and a Chippi, I didn't know the Liati Saman, Papa, Sapa, and the Verum. Eleven, Randanaka, Moon, which is Pikurta. Other model should be one dollar. Randa should be a mutu. And the mutu and the gala play, but I rob my jarraki value puts it. And a power to learn a lava pama with one. Vivi Sadakoban, Mother Kashanga, Sonar, either I call a model model should be a character. I want to Okay, I'm going to give this. Uh... A short uh, translation. His first concert is a 12 year old, 30 year old boy, 13 year old boy for this uh, musician, musicologist actually, who spent a lot of time of his life in Delhi also, Vivi Sadagopan. And uh, he, he was in Tutukudi, Tutikurun, and it's known for pearls. And uh, he said, I want a pearl, not knowing what a pearl was. And uh, they got three, and one was a real pearl. So apparently the musician said, he's, he's going to be a a pearl in his life. That's why he began. So, you know, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I'm going to tell you a story. A Gattam artist is the one who 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 is Jalra. He, I, I'm going to, I'm going to paraphrase. One second, Mama. English is solid. English is solid. He said that when he started playing the ghatam, the ghatam had no position, no respect. It was equal to a person just putting the jalra. That's how people considered the ghatam artist. Though you, the ghatam artist is sitting on stage. So, no. Apo artha chirpi la muttu kadachade and the muttu la ne prabhasma varapo illa illa adu illa ungaloda ghatam sthanatha pathi solunga ninga enna paathel solunga appa vand adukapram vaichindrunda idu inda ghadatha vande anda kaalathla alangudi ramachandranda modha modala sthapanam correct alangudi ramachandra alangudi pilvathirer ella comedy instrument irundathu appa vanda kokodi irundha avuthu uttu inda comedy and the Marie in the Ilipur Stanum. So, what he, uh, what he, when he uses the word Stanum, what he's talking about is actually seriousness. So, he's saying that till then there were some artists who it was almost like a comic relief <laughs> in a concert. So, it was not considered a serious that word is a very, very loaded word, by the way. So, uh, you can extrapolate anything we are discussing here to anything else you're doing in your life. Because what we take seriously in life is always, what we take not seriously is always questionable. Uh, what, what decides what's serious? Is it the position of the person on stage? Is it the instrument they play? 
Is it the dialect you speak? Is it the gender that you are? What makes you serious? I think this is important thing to think about. So when he said nobody took the ghatam seriously, it was equal to just putting talam in a jalra. So they were just like a decoration on stage when he came up. Right? Now tell me, you are the same. I will continue to give you the same. You are the same. So when you are doing this, you are not going to go to the same. No. No, I am not going to go to the same. அப்புறம் இந்த கடத்துக்கு மதிப்பு கொடுத்தது ஆலங்குடி ராமச்சந்திரன் சரி எப்படி கொடுத்தார் அவர் என்ன பண்ண அவர் அந்த காலத்துல தந்தி விழா சொன்னு அதுல வந்து கடம் போஸ்டல் அட்ரஸ் அதுல வந்து பேரு அட்ரஸ் தான் கடன் கொடுத்தா அவ வீட்டுக்கு வந்துடும் because these are all little anecdotes that i think have value in the conversation so he said there was a person called ஆலங்குடி ராமச்சந்திரன் he is the man who said he said gave first respect to the gatam or in public perception how interesting if you wanted to send a letter to alangudi ramachandran all you needed to write in the postcard was gatam it would go to his house so he said that he he positioned himself in a manner he so now you find a lot of gatam artists it happens only in gatam by the way they add gatam before their name <laughs> i don't see ganjira artists saying i play ganjira or me say vocalist tm krishna no so you have your person called ghatam kartik you have somebody called ghatam suresh why it's something because at that point it was not it will, for a long time people just thought it was a pot that you're beating on so alangudi ramachandran changes his perception saying you want to send a letter to me just write ghatam on it comes to my house so he's making a public statement on his position in the world of music appa kavatamangalam சுப்பு அவர் வந்து என்ன பண்ணார் இந்திய மண் ஐநா சபையில் பேசியது அதுல நான் வாசி விட்டோம்னா அப்ப பத்திரிகையில இந்திய மண் இந்தியாவோட மண் வந்து நான் கொஞ்சம் பின்னாடி வர பண்ண இப்போ ஆலங்குடி இது பண்ணார் அப்புறம் நீங்க வந்திருக்கே இப்போ உங்களுக்கு வந்து இப்போ கட்டத்தை ஸ்தாபிக்கணும்னு அப்பல இருந்தே உங்களுக்கு அந்த மாதிரி திங்கிங் இருந்ததா இல்லாட்டா இது அப்புறம் வந்துதா அதாவது அப்பவே இந்த கட்டத்துக்கு வந்து ஒரு ஸ்தானம் வரணும் அப்படின்னு அப்ப நான் என்ன சொன்னேன் இந்த கட்டத்தை வந்து வெளிநாட்டு மியூசிக்ல வந்தா பாப்புலர் ஆகும் அப்படின்னு உங்களுக்கு ஐடியா வந்து அதுக்கு முன்னாடி நீங்க எம் எஸ் மாக்கு வாசிக்க ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கு அதுக்கு முன்னாடி ஒருபலட்சுமி around the 1965-67 here i want to say one thing and think you will agree with me is among the musicians it's important to also think the musicians who actually adavad end musicians ella vande oru ghatam ganjira ku madipu kudutha nu paathena paadrava illa a ladies musician da adhigo ama the women actually gave more importance whether it's dk pattamal or ms subalakshmi these two especially and ml vasanth kumari the three superstars of carnatic music actually ghatam and ganjira getting this prominence on stage was their work not of the men not the male that it was these three people pandrava alone ladies na sonna ghatam pandrava ladies he says something the person who makes the ghatam is also a woman so so I, I, it's it, because I, why i'm saying this is because in the world of carnatic music and we are in the patriarchal hub of south india kerala basically so even now in kerala for the temple concerts it's men who are called women are rarely called now you have to think about your progressiveness a little bit uh even now arat concert is a man i have sung tons so i know so but that's not that's a feature of this music where men dominate but it is many cases the superstar women 
There's been cases where people like DK Patamal have refused. There's a great Mardangam artist who passed away recently, Karikodi Mani. Yeah. DK Patamal refused to sing at the Music Academy unless he played the Mardangam. <laughs> no man did it. So, it's this is all very little, little things that tell us a lot about how we structure ourselves. That's why I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. My question was, on stage, when the concert is happening, what has happened? Because when he, sat, when he sat behind the Mridangam artist, hidden from your view, you don't know what the Mridangam artist is telling the Ghatam artist. What is happening? Tell me about the name of the name of the name. என்ன <laughs> <laughs> நினைச்சேன் <laughs> 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 is success agone ek manas so he said two three things he said one a lot of things happen on stage he said they will not let me play they will not let me express myself on stage i'll just have to be sitting i have myself just to add to what he's saying even in generations later see in the mridangam artist you only see the right hand the left hand would do this <laughs> correct mama romba correct left hand would do this or even before the concert starts the mridangam artist will look at him and say na solracha vaascha porom you can play when i tell you to play okay so he said that it would give him a lot of angst sitting on stage you can't express yourself imagine you're sitting in front of an audience you're all listening and you have one person unable to play to do what they love doing and he said i realize the best way to give the ghatam its present is to go out of the country that's telling he said the only way we can, this can get presence is if it becomes emerges as an important instrument outside this world of carnatic concert stage is what he said appa da enak thonichu inda india la vaacha tha inda idha yen idha velinaadu kondu poranum correct adha sonnena appa varacha velinaadu porcha shakti ingra group la modha modala la na join panna endha varsham adu adu 19 72 72 72 john john zakir shankar ninga ama shakti ko appa vande adu world music carnatic music kada adu western music kada adu complementary combine panni or world music ah irund appa kuda enga appa solluvar idu world music ah naal gems shankar zakir nanu john john idu naal veru sende உலகம் போதா பண்றதுக்கு நீங்க போறதுக்கு முன்னாடி கிடையாது Uh, Zakir Hussain, and then it was El Shankar, El Shankar and uh, Vikuvi Naikram. Shakti emerges in 1972. Now there's a little thing there. You know, nowadays we, in the Instagram world, in the YouTube world, every jamming session is becoming a performance. I can now jam something and put it on YouTube and it'll go viral. They spent one and a half months together in an apartment working together to create the pieces that they created initially this is very important because we forget that there's like i spoke about this yesterday briefly in between the amount of work that goes into thought that goes into creating an art object 
A musical piece is an art object. Which means you need to spend time, you need to build relationships. Four of them are coming together for the first time. You need to build a friendship. You need to also build the form. What am I going to do? You just can't do... I mean, nowadays we, all of us, are just doing whatever we want and think we are doing something. That was not how Shakti evolved. And I, it's, it's, a, it's a lesson, I think, for all of us that we need to sometimes just wait. No rush. <laughs> ஒரு ஒன்றரை மாசம் நீங்க பிராக்டிஸ் பண்ணிருக்கீங்கன்னா ஒன்றரை மாசம் அது இன்னும் நல்ல ஒரு மெருகு ஏத்தி அதை அனுபவிச்சுக்கணும் அதாவது அந்த பேசு வந்தா அந்த பேசு வெறும் மெக்கானிக்கலா வாசிக்க கூடாது கரெக்ட் அவன் சொன்னா அந்த பேச அனுபவி அதுல உள்ள அர்த்தத்தை புரிஞ்சுக்கும் அப்படி பார்க்கறது நான் மெக்கி ஆர்டோட பிளானட் அதுல வாழ்க்கையில ஒவ்வொன்றும் எனக்கு பாடம் ஒவ்வொரு <laughs> யாரோட நீங்க கொலாபரேட் பண்ணல மிக்கி ஆர்ட் மிக்கி ஆர்ட் சோ தே செட் தே नीड अ थीम एंड फोर आर्टिस्ट कम टुगेदर एंड द थीम वाज व्हाट वी वी डू इज एन ऑफरिंग टू गॉड एंड देयर इज अ क्रिश्चियन देयर देयर इज अ हिंदू देयर एंड ही सेड ही सेड दैट एवरीवन ऑफर्ड टू देयर गॉड बट द अल्टीमेट थिंग इज ऑल गॉड्स आर वन एंड दे जस्ट केम टुगेदर एंड डिड म्यूजिक एंड दिस इज एंड द वर्ष मामा आज 92 एंड नाउ वी आर फाइटिंग अबाउट गॉड बट इट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग ऑल टुगेदर and uh, the offering is what got the grammy for them right <laughs> so um, i just want to come in just uh, move you know few decades here and uh, to say that you know whenever you think of transcending or the or, or shall we say challenging the limitations placed on you whether it is him in his time challenging his positionality in the world of music and finding a way across it or my life which is much later uh, i think there are i think what drives you is not that you want to make a change it's not like you're getting up one morning and saying i want to just make a change no i think what drives you is ultimately the fact that you see there's some dishonesty in the way things are happening which is what he felt he felt there is something wrong this can't be this way and i guess that i can completely agree with the difference being in the concert uh, arena i am in a different position on the stage compared to him <laughs> right in his time so i think when what you actually doing there is asking these questions of yourself are you really making art if you are going to sit on stage one person go tell the other person don't play i am going to give glaring looks at my violinist okay and if the audience is going to be just consuming something they are habituated to consuming where is art in all this are we really making art or are we just fooling ourselves that we are all happy being happy does not mean it's good art something being pleasing does not mean it's good art you clapping does not make something good art something else has to go in there and that i think is the quest of an artist and if you ask me to articulate what is that thing i can't i just feel it in the stomach i know when it's true i just know when it's a lie when he said that you know uh, when they created shakti they all felt that the music should be felt emotionally that's what we are talking about right so i think that the challenges may be different were definitely different compared to him and me completely different eras but i think the spirit that drives a person in from their own cultural surrounding from their own perception of life whatever that is to ask these difficult questions of their practice is the similar thing but another thing idhu ungalku ekkachukuma dhairyam vandirukkanume ungalku dhairyam undu ungala paatha neenga or pesuradhe illa na sirichinde irukkel eppadi ungalku ivula dhairyam vandudhu i said you you don't hardly talk you are always smiling where do you get the courage because imagine the courage he required nariya per tittirpaalla ungala nariya per tittirpaalla adala na car pandradhu illa adha vida தொழில்தான் 
ஆனா உங்க அப்பா இத பத்தி என்ன நினைச்சார் எங்க அப்பாவோட கனவு தான் இது அவர் வந்து ரவிசங்கர் அவர் ரவிசங்கர் சித்தார் மாதிரி கடத்துக்கு நீ வரணும் he said like ravi shankar for sitar it should be viku vinayakaram for the gatam i guess that has happened so his dad's dream was uh, fulfilled but ungalku vandu bayam irundirukom suppose ip naane kekkuren ipo na na ungaloda edathula irundena na ipdi america la poitena inga kacheri innu poidume ivala koopda maatale andha bayam la irundirukom le apdi elindhadu ha appa vandu ena romba per na per solla varala per la solla varana kadhi solla avan vandu நீ அங்க போனா இங்க கடத்த நாங்க கூப்பிட மாட்டோம் சோ அப்பரன்ட்லி சம் பீப்பிள் டோல்ட் हिम இஃப் யூ கோ டு தி வெஸ்ட் we will stop calling gutam artists call calling you as a gutam artist for a concert here you will have no room in the carnatic world அப்பா எனக்கு தைரியம் கொடுத்த பாலச்சந்தர்தா எஸ் பாலச்சந்த நீ இதெல்லாம் விட்டு வெளிநாடு போ அப்பதான் உனக்கு வந்து திருப்பி இங்க வரதுக்கு அதாவது கரெக்டா தான் நீங்க கேட்டலானோ so the person who gave him the courage and he is interesting personality in this conversation and unfortunately not well known he's a he's a polygot i mean he's an incredible man he's a great veena artist a filmmaker who is even now revered by the film world his name is s balachander he was a champion chess player he was a sitar player or self taught he was a veena player he innovated on how the veena is played he okay. added the contact mic to it he was a ganjira player he was a filmmaker he was a film music composer name it he was that you can google his name on wiki if you want to and even today filmmakers who know serious film watch his film and say oh my god <laughs> he was way ahead of his times and thank goodness viku inakram spoke to him <laughs> and he told him don't worry about all this you go abroad once you're respected there these guys will respect you <laughs> அப்படி வரைச்சதான் நான் சக்தியில அவர் கூட ஒரு பத்து பேர் கொண்டு வராரு அவர் வாசிக்கிறதுக்கு அப்ளாஸ் கொடுக்கறதுக்காக கொண்டு வராரு அப்படி எல்லாம் வந்திருக்கு உங்களை பத்தி அதை பத்தி நீங்க என்ன நினைக்கிற அதை பத்தி எல்லாம் நான் டோன்ட் கேர் அதை பத்தி கேர் பண்றதே இல்ல நோ ஐல் டெல் யூ வை ஐம் சேயிங் திஸ் சோ देयर இஸ் बीन திஸ் ஸ்டோரி கோயிங் அரவுண்ட் இன் தி கர்நாடிக் மியூசிக் वर्ल्ड ஐ ஹ ஹர்ட் இட் தட் when viku vinayakaram played he brought with him 10 people seated them in different places in the audience so correctly when he finished playing the solo they all start clapping clapping is a is like kind of a pick up thing right it's like yawning one person claps everybody claps so the accusation was the clap is set up but what this actually reveals is they were shit scared of bikku vinayakaram <laughs> that's the truth they were really worried about playing with him because they knew that he knew how to capture the audience's spirit so actually avanga bayathula da ipdi sonnanga apdi na ama adavadhu inda kadatha oishu nonu plan la irundathu ah oikkirathu vandu un kaiyiliyum en kaiyiliyum illa naanga sleeper la porta ah iva patient ka konjana ஒரு பேர் பஞ்சங்கள் மண்ணும் ஒரு இதுனால இது பகவான் கொண்டு வருவார் nano neyo la oichin so there was this plans to completely demolish the gutam from the scene of carnatic music he said nobody can destroy it it's made from earth from the five elements uh, none of us have a possibility to destroy it so uh, it's uh, i'm just na konje pesi thirukonga da so uh, the point is that these are all challenges and this imagine that an artist has to be able to create beyond this your livelihood is at stake people forget some basic things you know uh i'm i'm going to call out activists here sometimes activists don't realize that artists sometimes it's their livelihood right it is and they are not all in a position to be activists let's be very clear this is activism in its own world and we must understand that it has dimensions activism does not have to talk the dialogue or the or the language or the dialect that you and i speak 
but to be able to push beyond social structures, cultural structures in whatever way you do and yet be able to create is immense courage, requires immense courage and the ability to still imagine. So I think these words like activism have all been like closeted in certain views. If you don't speak this language or if you don't ask these questions, then you're not activist enough. To me, within the world he occupied, he was an activist. If he was not an activist, he wouldn't be Gatam Vikram. Huh. Somebody speaking loudly, can they stop speaking, please? Is it from another place? Oh, that's too loud. Then I can't do anything about it. Okay, forget it. So, uh, I think these are important markers for us. right? So, my own life also started on the concert stage. My own activism also started on the concert stage asking questions of the music. I was not asking social questions. I was asking questions of saying, why am I singing this music? What am I singing it? Why are you listening? Why do we love it? It's from a very similar space. Then it grew to other things. But it need not grow for everybody. It need not. And doesn't make one person a more active person socially, another person like, doesn't at all. Depends on what world you want to occupy or what, what world you see. We all see limited worlds. Even the most progressive act, act, activist sees a limited world. There's nobody in this planet who can see the entire spectrum of things happening. There's nobody. So, I think it's, it's a lot of learning from his life. So long, I'm going to cut it. That's why 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 I'm going to cut it. 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 அதனால பகவான் கொடுத்திருக்கார் இது தெய்வீகம் இல்ல அதுக்கப்புறம் நீங்க போய் பண்ண அப்புறம் திருப்பியும் கச்சேரி வாசிய இல்ல ஆமா அப்ப எப்படி உங்களை பாக்குற விதம் மாறித்தா மாறிடுச்சு எப்படி மாறிட்டு ஏன்னா அப்ப வந்து நாங்க கூப்பிட்டாதான் வரும் எல்லாம் நான் இதெல்லாம் விட்டுட்டு அங்க போயிட்டு வந்ததுனால எனக்கு இன்னும் கௌரவம் ஜாஸ்தி கிடைச்சது என்னன்னா வெஸ்டர்ன் மியூசிக்ல நான் வந்து பரப்பினால சக்தியில பேமஸ் ஆயிடுச்சு அங்க பேமஸ் ஆனதுனால இங்க என்னென்ன கௌரவம் கிடைச்சு எத்தனை வருஷம் நீங்க வெளிநாடுலாம் போயிருக்கீங்க நீங்க டோட்டலா அப்ப சக்தி டூர் ஒரு ஐம்பது வருஷமா போயிட்டு இருக்காரா பிப்டி இயர்ஸ் ஹி டசன் ஸ்பீக் டூ வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் இங்கிலீஷ் He'll probably say thank you. That's what. He has survived the entire world. Speaking the only language he speaks which is Tamil. Which itself is a phenomenal achievement. Tamil matam pesi walakam sutrum valiban abdi na ungla. English na unnu varadhi. Zagir. Vandhi. Naam pesar English tam pesur. He said Zagir speaks the English that he speaks. So he can communicate with him. அவர் <laughs> அவர் என்ன வாசி அப்படி இல்லை என்னடா அது இப்போதான் இவ்வளோ வாசம் ஒன்றும் பண்ணும் திருப்பி வாசி அப்படிங்கிறாள் சரி திருப்பி என்ன பண்ணா அப்போ வந்து நிறுத்திட்டு நான் சொன்னதை திருப்பி வாசி அப்படின்னா வாசி சிவா சிவா அதான் சிவ சிவா நீ வாசி எல்லாமே அதில் அடக்கிருக்கு அப்படின்னா அதுலேருந்தான் நான் 
நீங்க <laughs> <laughs> and then he said play more so he said vasi in tamil means play the inverse is shiva so after that he started using tevaram uh, tiruvasakam uh, all uh, poems on shiva as part of a solo presentation those who were yesterday were there for the concert would have heard him start with the word shiva 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 and around that time he stopped playing what you could call traditional carnatic concerts per se he stop playing so adukapra neenga adu nirthi telninga thaniya appra thaniya varadana dhaan vaasichu telninga thaniya varadana illa adukapra slogatha solli illa i mean kacheri vaasikirathu kacheri plan nirthi aachu adu ena appa pakka adhi vaasikirathu stop ha i mean i think that's also a very very uh, bold statement to make he's saying that i refuse to be please understand that the seating position itself is quite uh, embarrassing the gatamatas is hidden <laughs> right and i think he had reached a point where he was larger than every mridanga artist on the horizon in terms of his presence and there was no necessity for him to remain hidden on stage and therefore he said from now i will not get on stage and play for a traditional concert i will do my solos i may play exclusive concerts that's about it so now na na pe pesi ramama okay so uh, just to circle back to in some way uh, the second word which is transcendence is that transcendence happens only with a lot of difficulty that happens before it uh, it happens with the challenges that are posed to you they could be musical they could be social they could be cultural they could be all in your head too possible your own limitations your fears um, and there is this uh, thing that my guru samagudi shrinivas here actually uh, said told somebody uh, he told uh, an ias officer that you know you write your ias exam only once my ias exam is every time i get on stage and sing yeah. <laughs> right so every time you're on stage you're getting on stage or not even stage every time you're singing vitla padinalo it's it's a kind of a it's a it's it's a way of you trying to transcend your limitation the expression of sound whether it is from the hand or from the voice is something that allows you to transcend but before that happens the fear is still there the fear never disappears by the way the fear never goes away maybe fear is not the right word for it you know anxiety may be slightly closer to it it's just that feeling and somehow there is that switch that needs to come on right and i think this is true of writing too this is as true of writing because every time you write it's there you feel the same thing speaking it's the same thing so i think these are unless you cross that every time so transcendence is not a permanence it's a repeatedly happening event is what i'm trying to come to it's not like an artist transcends and they remain in the position of transcendence or the audience remains you don't you also go back to what you could call the run of the mill feelings and then you transcend it is in this journey between what is mundane and what is transcending that the magic exists if you remain in transcendence you don't know its transcendence if you remain in the mundane you don't know its mundane so unless you make this journey between the two and struggle in that journey you will never know the other and this is as true of you as a reader or as a as a listener or as a as a person who watches any kind of art that you need to make that journey and i think that's where we have a problem today because passivity in receiving is also something we have all got we just passively receive everything is breathtaking everything is wonderful everything is spectacular so we just want the pleasure of that but we don't want to commit to the difficulty of that as an audience you have to commit you have to commit to giving yourself up and struggling with being uncomfortable with what you see on stage or what you're watching cross that 
experience it, then go back to being what's going to happen. We all do it. But I think this is a very important aspect when we talk about challenging norms or challenging art or challenging sound and finding that incredibly profound moment or period that you need to constantly be a time traveler between the mundane and the transcending. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to open the house out for questions, if there are any. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir, yeah. for your uh, presence and uh, your experience. A lot of things to learn from your life. And uh, my question, what is uh, your opinion about uh, experiments in music, such as Jugal Bandi and all these things? Music like experiments like Jugal Bandi, Fusion, Pandra. What do you think about this? We have to learn a lesson. Fusion. Fusion is in the same time. Beatles. What do you think about this? Beatles is a Western artist. Raghudi Mainin. I will do this. John and Abhanar. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Shakti John Creed. That's why. So, one of the experiments is a learning. He says every experiment is a learning. Jugal Bandhi, what do you think? Jugal Bandhi is different. In that case, I am Jugal Bandhi. Yes. I am Tabla. I am Main. That's why Jugal Bandhi is different. But that Jugal Bandhi is different. नहीं कांस्टेबल पन्ना देना आंदाज़ है आधे कोई हेल्प शिवकुमार शर्मा शिवकुमार शर्मा हम्म तो आधुनिक उर लेसन मरीन रहे आधे आधे लवासी कर दे आमा तो उर जुगल बंदी लवासी करते कौन I'm just asking him how is it different for him playing in a जुगल बंदी in a fusion and in a कर्नी इप्पो मून मून वेच कोंगले उर जुगल बंदी कच्चेरी उर fusion concert उर कर्नाटिक concert Am asyik ke bela? Naa asyik kerja macam trip mac. Adi ke tuan dah mari anda tu berdu. Epo? Ia pergi ada. Ipo ya, ya na ya kekar na. Ipo kerja wala emri yosi kerana na angga pandra na wear do panono. Ingga pona na wear do panono. Apa ni na yosi kerana? Ama. Adi ni ke panik bela? Adi ya pergi ni ke macam tu. Semua itu ni worti tu. Adi tu, adi gatam instrument tar. Adi gatam nala, orang lala. Semua adi nala sula dingin. Ya na. Ila. Adi gatam nala lala. Ida na poi. Ida poi na otak mana. Naa gatam asyap diri kuma. Ninga gatam diri kuma. Adalah diri kah dah, adalah diri kah. Ya puni na, ini manwadiyo. Na na, I I disagree with him. Na utuk maten, ninga solat itu complete utuk maten. So I asked him, you play for fusion, you play for jugal bandi, you play. Karnataka concert, do you change something? He said, I don't change anything. I play the same thing. So I said, how does it fit? He said, that's because of the gatam. I said, no, that's not because of gatam. That's because of you. Whatever you play fits into different contexts. And he's absolutely true when he says he doesn't change. So why I'm saying this again, no? It, I'm, I'm just trying to extrapolate his thoughts into a larger frame of ideas. Is that as human beings, we always believe we need to do something different or become somebody else in a different context. Right? You don't want to be yourself. I'm here, I'm, I'm playing a certain role. I go tomorrow, I suddenly become somebody else. Uh, and, he's, and what he basically is saying, you don't need to do that. If what you do is what you know and what you are and it's honest, it'll work everywhere. I think that's how I will understand his lesson. Right? So you don't need to put facades to yourself. You don't need to be somebody or not. You don't need to play something that is not coming naturally to you. That, you're un that you, you don't believe is your expression of the instrument. So I, I think that's a very important thought to hold. Sir, among the four musicians, who took the lead role in the formation of Sakti? John. He already answered. John did. John McLaughlin. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Girija. It's such a huge honor to see both of your legends also the third legend on the same stage together. Such a huge, huge honor. Give a huge round of applause yeah. to these artists. Yeah. 
Just very quickly, TM Krishna, you were talking about transcendence and the mundane. And in simple terms, they are opposites, right? But do you see that these opposites are complementary to each other? Well, once you said it that way, I'm like worried about whether my definition of the mundane itself is a problem. But I'll, I'll keep that for another day. I'll think about it and come back on that. Uh, it's probably that itself is a problem which I need to think about. Maybe what I define as mundane is not mundane. That's also possible. Right? It's, it's distinctly possible. Maybe I'm being judgmental about somebody else's profoundity. Possible. But I'm not saying they are the opposites. I'm saying that whatever, when I, when I say mundane, what I actually mean is what you do thoughtlessly every day. Right? Without feeling. That's what I'm calling the mundane. Which is an autumn. Like he said, music should not be mechanical. I'm talking about the mechanical as the mundane. Is it the opposite of the transcendent? I don't think I'll probably frame it that way. No, I will not. I will say that this is also required in life. You can't say the mundane is not required or the mechanical is not. It is required. I must... Certain things you just do. Right? You commit to. So it is not necessarily the opposites, but it is dif two different spheres of our living that we need to keep in conversation with. We can't get stuck in any one of them. Now, I'll give you the problem of being stuck in transcendence. I can say my music is elevating, profound, everybody cries when I sing, therefore I'm elevating and then f completely forget about the social discrimination that happens in my practice. Because I don't care about it. I'm giving you transcendence. I'm transcending. You know, that's bollocks. Right? So, it is also a problem to always claim some great abstract greatness in what you do. It's happening in reality. It's happening in terra firma. So, I think I'm talking about this, maybe even a fissure that exists between the two, to some extent. That's all I'm saying. I think they need to talk to each other. That's all. Any other thoughts, questions? We have nine minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> then can I bounce a few things off him and close it? Close it today? Okay, good. Mama, you can tell me about this. 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 Why do you have this excitement? You know, in the sense, we were talking yesterday in the night and I have had the... I'm not sure if you're going to be a part of this. Where are you? I'm not sure if you're going to be a part of this. Tell me about this. Thank you. No, I want it on record, so I'm just placing it. <laughs> so, so, I have shared so many stages with him. We have done this duet at least four, five times more. And the question I was wondering last night is, how is he so excited even now? You know, what excites you? I mean, you come on stage, you have an excitement, you have an excitement. You have an excitement. You have an excitement. இப்ப என்ன வாசிச்சு என்ன பெரிய அப்படின்னு சில பேர் இருக்கா அந்த மாதிரி இருக்கிறாலும் இருக்கா உங்களுக்கும் தெரியும் எனக்கும் தெரியும் பட் உங்களுக்கு அந்த அந்த ஒரு ஃபீலிங்கே வருது இல்லையா எது சமுத்திரம் மாதிரி கையளவு கலக்காது உலகளவு அதனால இதுல வந்து முடிவுங்கிறதே கிடையாது இது இன்னும் வரப்போறது வரப்போறது அப்ப ஒவ்வொன்றும் நமக்கு லட்சணா அமையுது பட் அந்த சந்தோஷம் உங்களுக்கு எங்க வருது நீங்க சொல்லு போடுறது தத்தியம்னு போடுறச்ச அவங்க மூஞ்சிய பார்த்தா நான் சொல்றது கரெக்ட் தானே நீங்க எல்லாரும் தான் போடுறா அந்த சொல்லு எனக்கு நிறைய பேர் வாசிக்கிறா ஆனா நீங்க வாசிக்கிறச்ச அதுல உங்களுக்கு ஒரு ஒரு பயங்கர ஒரு ஹாப்பினஸ் இருக்கு நீங்க வாசிச்ச சொல்லுதான் நீங்க வந்து ஒரு லட்ச கணக்கு தானே வாசிச்சிருக்கேள் நான் நடுராத்துல எழுப்பினா கூட நீங்க வாசிப்பேன் ஆனா நீங்க வாசிக்கிறச்ச அதுல ஒரு ஆஹான்னு உங்களுக்கே இருக்கு அப்புறம் <laughs> 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 
So, I mean, to have that feeling, you know, he said there's a lot to learn. I think, I think what he said is very important. That comes from his, his uh, thought that this is like a child. Every time he picks up a gutam, it's like a... You must see how he is disciplined about the gutam, about how it should be, about how perfect it should be. You know, it's amazing. So, it is excitement has come from very childlike nature of the individual. And many of us lose it. And I'm not using childlike in that very usual way people say we lose innocence, not in that very, very stereotypical way. I'm saying in the excitement of living, of finding something new. What is, what is magical about a child? Every experience is new to the child or for the child. That excitement he holds so beautifully within himself. I think that's why every time he gets on stage, it's exciting. He may play the same thing, but it's still exciting. It still speaks. Always thinking in mind the music. music. எனக்கு <laughs> 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 நான் சொல்லி தரேன் சொல்லி எங்க அப்பா தான் ஏன்னா என்னோட மனசுக்கு இப்படி போவார் நான் சினிமா பார்க்கணும்னா அங்க அர்ஜுன் போய் அங்க போய் கணக்கு சொல்லி கொடுப்பார் புரியுது So he decided that you, you can't send him to XYZ, he'll get beaten up there in class, not getting it. So he said, I will teach you, his father. And uh, he said he would let him do his own thing. Uh, seems very progressive parenting for his period of time. Uh, apparently, he used to go to cinema. If you liked watching movies, they'll go to cinema. And in the interval, there'll be a class. And he could watch the second part only if he got what was happening in the class in between time. <laughs> You know, we, we, again, we talk about making learning fun. I think that's basically what happened. And also, I think the understanding that as a person, this is the way he was willing, he was assimilating. He said that, He used to let me be, is what he's saying in some way. And he used his way of experiencing to teach him what he wanted to teach him. Yeah. Because usually, when you come to your house, you come to your house, you come to எனக்கு சொல்லி தர உங்களால ஒத்துற முடியாது நான் தான் இது லைக்னு சொல்லி என்ன ஏன்னா அந்த காலத்துல வந்து பழைய காலம் நான் வரலன்னா கல்லால அடிப்பா நெத்தில காயம் வரும் அந்த இதெல்லாம் என் பையனுக்கு வர உங்க நினைக்கிற லெவலுக்கு இது வர இவனுக்கு அவன் போக்குல போனாதான் நான் சரி போறோம் அப்படி அது எனக்கு பெரிய பாக்கம் அப்பா அண்ட் குரு தெய்வமா இருந்தது எனக்கு பகவானோட ஆமான் <laughs> 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 So you also realize that things don't necessarily get carried over in every generation. It sometimes stops with one generation. What do you want to say? You want to say that you want to say that. So anyway, um, I think we pretty much uh, finished the session and discussed the things that I thought I could discuss with uh, uh, Viku Mama here. If there's one last question, we can take one question. Somebody else, if there is one question, we can take it and we can, I think, wrap. We're right in time for the next session. I 
I'm really sorry to take up your time. You were talking about Vikku Mama's um, excitement, and we see that excitement in you also. In everything that you do, in your concerts, in your conversations, in your activism, we see that continuous excitement. So what keeps you excited? <laughs> it may not, you know, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think whether it's all the same excitement in some ways. Maybe it's not, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I think uh, what keeps me engaged into a, seriously is... Um, I think there's truly something profound, uh, something incredibly beautiful about the way we can experience life and you can experience music or art or anything. And I do believe that as individuals, we are all very, we are unable to experience it because of our own limitations. And, uh, and my life endeavor is to always challenge those limitations. When I speak to other people, I'm actually speaking to myself too. You know, it's not like I've sorted everything out in my head and I'm some, you know, realized human being. Nonsense. I'm also struggling like everybody else, right? Um, so those questions, I feel, I feel you're ape. there are moments when every one of us sitting here are in transcendence, right? But why is it that we can't be like that at least for four hours in a day? That's the basic question. Whether it's about listening to music or whether it is about asking questions about my own identities, you know, or what I do, what I don't do, the tone I speak with, what I don't listen to, they're all limiting me from experiencing the gorgeousness of living. And uh, that's what keeps me going. And every time I feel, I'm done. Two seconds. You have to allow me to finish the sentence at least. Thank you very much. Uh, no, no, where was. Yeah, so... Well, I've lost the thread, but I'll just wrap. Uh, the point being that I think it is important that for me personally, that I keep asking those difficult questions of myself. And I'm, other thing, the answer is actually irrelevant. The question is more important. I think the question is more important because no question is going to give you an absolute answer. It's probably going to give you another question, which is wonderful. If you can live your life asking questions, I think you've lived a great life. And that's exciting. If you've got the answer, then life is boring. It also means that it's not an answer, it's a lie. Thank you.